What's up, guys? I'm down here chilling on their level. Say hi, Bailey. Say hi. How about you, Coco? Hey. How about you, Tasha? You wanna say hi? You wanna? <laughs> you wanna? Yeah. Coco, you wanna? Tasha's like, well, I wanna. I don't know what I wanna, but I wanna. Bailey, come here. <laughs> She's like, okay, Dad, rub my belly. Give me kisses. So, yeah, it is Friday. Just got off work. Um, super easy day today. They are running out of axles. So, they keep going down, and we could have been sent home around 9 30 but instead them being them they kept us there till almost two o'clock so that was cool but hey free money i guess um we are waiting for our other friend uh dan uh me and my buddy tyler we work on the same line then our buddy dan works on the other line and he knows of the shooting range i guess and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think he just bought a new pistol or something. I don't, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't know anything about guns. Um, I wish I did. I definitely support them. But uh, I just don't really know much about them. Um, my grandpa does, like him and my uncle, they own quite a few to my knowledge. Or to my, to my understanding, to my knowledge. I don't know. I don't know what the term is I'm looking for, but. They have quite a few and they, you know, own all kinds of land out in the middle of nowhere. So, you know, they can go out in their backyard and shoot and stuff like that. But, uh, I eventually would actually like to get one for the house. Just with how crazy this world's getting. I don't want to say, like, I would hate to ever say, like, you need one. But, like, you never know anymore. Like, it's getting ridiculous out there. Um, yeah. So, anyways, back to the story. Uh. He wants to go to the shooting range, but I think his girlfriend, or... I, actually, I think they're engaged, so fiancé. Um, she she needs the car or something like that, so he asked, you know, if we wanted to go, if one of us would drive or whatever, so... I think I'm driving. Um, but we're waiting for him to get off, and then we're going to go up there. Um, it's been... I was probably in, like, middle school. Maybe early high school last time I shot a gun. I honestly don't remember. I actually might have been in, like, Cub Scouts or Boy Scouts, now that I think of it. I don't remember, so it's going to be fun. It's something I've wanted to do this for a long time. I actually want to take Shelby so she can learn. Because, you know, I know the basics, you know, the in and outs of a gun. But, um, you know, she she's never even, like, held one or anything like that. So I, I do want to take her. Um, but, you know, i got to brush up on my skills first so I can, I can go there and impress her and get all kinds of... You know, show her my good aim and show off. But, um, yeah, just waiting on that. I'm supposed to get some nasty storms. It was, it's just been hot and nasty here, like, all week. So, you know, I can't complain about it being cold anymore. But, I'm supposed to get some storms. Which is fine by me, because our grass is just begging to be watered. Um, I buy a sprinkler every single year like literally every single year i buy a sprinkler you know a pretty nice one not like a super cheap one but not as an expensive one and then i usually do something stupid and i like leave it outside all winter long like not on or whatever but just you know like leave it just outside because we don't have like our garage is over here our water thing is on the other side like in our main driveway so it's you know, I just usually kind of leave it out there by the water thing and then forget to put it away or, you know, it just gets gunked up or, you know, freezes in the winter and just kind of breaks. So, need to buy another one. Um, but uh, it's actually nice, like, without getting a lot of rain and actually not watering the grass. I only have to cut it, like, once a week and I don't even have to bag it. I can just buzz right over it. For a while there, last couple videos you guys saw, it was like... And literally no lie every other day I was having to cut the grass so that was super annoying and it was like every other day that I was cutting it like it was literally cutting this much so like it was super long and I had to bag it and I would have to stop like every five passes and empty the bag 
<sighs> but yeah. Aside from that, everything's good. Um, probably gonna go clean my car out. Uh, they should be off work in about another hour. So, I'm gonna edit up some old videos here because I haven't, that's another thing, like I gotta step up my game. Um, I apologize for like the super slow uploads, but I just, I haven't recorded as much as normal, so it hasn't been like a priority. But on top of that, I hate sitting right here because there's a window right in front of me. It just gives me this like weird tint. But um, let me turn the brightness way down. How about that? Yeah, that looks good, right? No, but um, like it just, I've been working on the slingshot so much. And then like every weekend when I'm off, I'm, you know, up in Detroit cruising around with the slingshot crew. And, you know, it just actually editing the videos that I have and the footage and stuff just hasn't been like a priority. So... I'll probably spend a couple hours, yeah, after we get back, I'll probably spend a couple hours, edit probably at least two, maybe three videos. I think I should have enough for three or four, actually, and then uh, get those uploaded, so.
That's the gun I want is a 9 mm You do want a 9 mm or a revolver. <laughs> you want a revolver? The good thing about that, the revolver though, is uh, the 38 special. If you get a 38 special, it'll only shoot 38 special. If you get a 357 Magnum, it'll shoot 357 Magnum and 38 special. fun it was so my one friend that we were waiting on he has two pistols that he brought um and then my other friend rented something i don't know and like i said i don't know anything about guns so i know there was like they think theirs took like nine millimeter or something so something along those lines and then I saw a revolver which is the one that's got like the there's no clip it's got the thing that like spins out and you put like the five individual bullets in it and again I don't know anything about guns so I was like oh hey that one looks cool I'm gonna rent that one so that's what I did and it was cheap too they're like I think like eight bucks to rent or something if that um I think the box of ammo was like 22 or 20 or something and it took uh 38 special like i said this is my first time shooting god i had to be it had to be like middle school like early middle school i don't know but um it was a little intimidating i won't even lie i won't even play it off like oh yeah it was i had a blast don't get me wrong it was awesome but uh like at first I was they kept they got the stuff ready or whatever and he's like alright go ahead I'm like no 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 you go ahead I'll watch for a minute um so yeah they uh they said we had two lanes we had three of us two lanes and then let's see one two and then four pistols um it was just it was cool seeing like just the way different ones felt like they were all generally the same size except for, except for the revolver it had like a really short like grip on it so it was a little bit different you're kind of your pinky was just kind of like doing whatever you know wanted it to do but uh man police are out like crazy today i have passed more police today just in monroe like not on the highway i didn't see a single one on the highway driving from work and back uh up to the shooting range and back literally just in Monroe like I've seen god it's had to be 12 or 13 now and I mean that's literally more than I've seen an entire month added up but um I got uh five guys burgers and fries on the way home if you guys don't if you guys have one of those around you and you haven't tried it you gotta try it they're good um I get the they call it like little or regular regular is a like a double burger little is a like a single patty um i'm a big guy i get the little one first time i tried it i got the big one i couldn't eat the whole thing and the second time damn i almost ran it over second time i got the big one and i ate the whole thing and i felt like i was gonna die like it was greasy as hell um but i get the bacon one with pretty much everything but like tomatoes on it and uh delicious they got good ass fries too the fried in like peanut oil or something so they taste a little bit different and they give you like this cup of fries and then they like grab the scoop out of the deep fryer and just you know dump a whole bunch more in there so if you get like a small fry the cup is like this big but then you get like two more of those worth dumped in the bag so it's pretty cool um we don't have, of course, we don't have any of them around me here at Monroe, so we were up in the Woodhaven area. They got everything up there, so I got it up there. But yeah, I kind of, I want to go there a little more often. That was fun. Um, 
I was actually, I surprised myself with how accurate I was. I had a really good aim. Um, not perfect, you know, but for my expectations, I was damn close to that middle little target every time. Um, except the first time I fired the revolver, I was kind of, I hit the paper all five times, but I was, you know, definitely like up here, then down here, then to the left, then to the right. Um, I will say, I don't know in movies how they sit there and hold it sideways and just do it one handed. Those ones we were shooting had some kick. I was so mad when we left, or we were all mad. Um, in the rack in front of you where I showed that little clip, I'll show it again right here that it says rentals right there so you know obviously those are the guns you can rent and um they have one i was like dang they don't have like anything else i was like i've always wanted to fire a shotgun and like something like an ar or something like that just get the feel of it you know see how they are um and i was kind of hoping because i knew he was bringing a couple pistols i was kind of hoping they were gonna have other stuff that we could try but i was like oh they only got the pistols but you know i was really excited to try the revolver um, when we were leaving up in the top right, like, like yay high, you know, it's like up in your face. So you're not going to look at it unless you're looking up. They had this rack that had like five or six different shotguns. One of them had a clip. So it was, you put the, the shotgun shells in this clip and I was like, dang. And then they had a couple like ARs and one had all kinds of like custom parts. I mean, it, to describe it best, it looked like a gun that was customized in like Call of Duty or something. It looked pretty crazy. Um, I'd like to go there next time, maybe try something like that, but um, definitely something like that. I'm gonna bring you know one of my friends with me so they know what they're doing because you know I don't. Um, and uh, like yeah, like I said, I want to take Shelby or something like that too because it'd be cool to teach her how to fight or how to fight, how to shoot. But yeah.